because I am going to go through it paying attention to time and it might feel fast, but I want you to be able to go back and look. These are the five problems that are on slide um, nine. And if you did not do the calculations on your own and just try to do them in your head, there's lots of places for mistakes here because there's a ton of rules happening. We've got order of operations. We've got multiplication and addition and subtraction of positives and negatives. So because of order of operations for this first problem, I would have to do this part of the problem first. It's the multiplication part. Negative two or positive two times negative 10 is going to give me negative 20. There is an invisible plus here, right? I'm really saying it's negative 60 and negative 20. That makes that negative 80. Again, in this next problem, order of operations, this is showing multiplication. So those have to get multiplied first. So that negative 60 just gets brought down. Negative two times negative 10 is positive 20. Here's a quick little design or graphic that can help you remember uh, if you're adding or, or multiplying or dividing positives and negatives. If I, and this is where I wish I had my document camera, if I cover up the negative and the negative, I'm left with the positive. And that's what happened here. I had negative times negative, and it gave me a positive. That means this is negative 40. The third problem, we have negative 60 minus 20 times 10. That means it's got to be negative 60 brought down, negative 20 times 10. That's a big number. Did I even write that down right? I did. That's negative 200. So that's going to be negative 260. Then we have negative 60 minus 20. That's just negative 80. And negative 60 plus 20 is negative 40. So the two correct answers in this scenario are the two that show where Tommy was 10 minutes ago. So what are our right answers here? Negative 80 negative 80. <clears throat> All right, I am going to uh, pause the recording